Good day classmates, good day doc, I am Keith and today I am going to discuss the economic and societal impact of e-commerce. For this course, our learning outcomes are the following. First, you will know and learn the current state of e-commerce in the Philippines. Then, you will going to have the knowledge on the trends and issues encountered on the e-commerce. Also, you are going to learn the challenges of e-commerce to the business and how we can have solution to those challenges. But first, let us define e-commerce. The term e-commerce or electronic commerce refers to a business model that is allow companies and individuals to buy and sell goods and services over the internet. In short, it is the buying and selling of goods and services through the internet. It is conducted over computers, tablets, smartphones, and other smart devices. Almost everything can be purchased through e-commerce today. It can be a substitute for a brick and mortar stores through although some businesses choose to maintain both. E-commerce operates in four market segments, including business-to-business, business-to-consumer, consumer-to-consumer, and consumer-to-business. The current state of e-commerce in the Philippines, this is according to the Statistical Research Department as of December 9, 2000. And 21. The e-commerce market in the Philippines has seen a gradual growth in recent years, as reflected in its rebuilt figure in 2020, although the growth of revenue remains lowest compared to other target economies in Southeast Asia. The potential for online shopping in the country with the highest daily time spent using the internet is promising. As a result, e-commerce expenditures in the country increase as more and more Filipino consumers are choosing to buy from an online store due to the convenience it offers. In the wake of the COVID-19 outbreak, the Philippines is continuing to rely on e-commerce and the digital economy to manage its economic recovery. As a result of the lockdown measures imposed on brick and mortar businesses, the e-commerce sector in the Philippines has experienced a boom during the outbreak. The market for online shopping has long been dominated by e-commerce platforms such as Lazada, Shopee, and Zalora, which sells goods from its own fulfillment centers and allow a third-party seller through its platform. With an increasing number of online users, merchants have turned digital to easily reach their target customers. These platforms offer attractive, attractive sales deals such as free shipping, huge discounts on several items and cash and delivery payment methods. So I have here 10 e-commerce sites in the Philippines as of 2022. First, the Lazada. Lazada is without a doubt one of the top e-commerce sites in the Philippines with 25 million visitors per four weeks. Lazada has consolidated its position as the Philippines' most popular e-commerce uh, website. The company offers products from a number of categories, including consumer electronics, household goods, toys, fashion, sport equipment, and groceries. Nike, Adidas, Huggies, Philips, Bioderma, and Watsons are just a few of the well-known companies with large mall outlets depending on their location. Lazada can provide both fulfillment and shipping services to your country of choice. Times Logistics manage the fulfillment services which are based in Hong Kong and operated by the company. They handle all aspects uh, of the inbound process including storage and pickup and pack. In addition, with Lazada Global Shipping, retailers can send their goods anywhere in Asia using only one service. This means reduce prices and greater convenience. The second to that is the Shopee. Shopee is a significant participant in the Moda, Mobile First Philippines. Um, it is primarily a mobile first, the diversified online store that also offers a traditional web experience. Uh, it is a Southeast Asian focused platform that combines the authenticity of a customer to customer or the 
or the C2C marketplace with payment and logistical support. In fact, Shopee is not only leading platform in Southeast Asia, but it is also the famous name in the list of the, to the e-commerce in the Philippines. It has a massive user base of 14 a uh, million four hundred thousand people every month and sells a variety of products ranging from electronics to groceries so this is like the lazada but uh, shopee is more uh, familiar and most popular in the philippines next to the top 10 is the metro deal so metro deal is another name on the list of top e-commerce sites in the philippines uh, that specializes in discounts and deals gathering promotions for restaurants leisure retail and travel travel uh, it does process payments directly putting uh, it in the category of e-commerce Thanks to its process payment directly, MetroDeal has been able to expand and become top e-commerce sites in the Philippines in this pandemic decade. Interestingly, the company was acquired by the Japanese outsourcing giant Transcosmos last year. Next, the MetroDeal is the eBay. So for eBay, it is a well-known online retailer in the Philippines and it ranks high on the list of the country's top e-commerce sites which offer both auctions and online shopping services. In order to enter the B2C industry or the business-to-customer industry, eBay is building on the success of its second-hand market. The eBay store operates more like a traditional business-to-consumer marketplace with businesses selling their own products as well as retailers selling a number of different brands on the site. Users can purchase and sell a wide variety of new and used items including electronics, automobiles, fashion, uh, fashion apparel, collectibles, sporting goods, digital cameras, and baby items. An estimated 880,000 Filipinos visit ebay.ph to benefit from the wide range of general products. Buyers also can access the websites for free, but sellers are changed are charged fees for displaying products on the site for the for collecting payments. The fifth to the top 10 is the Carousel. Carousel is an Asian e-commerce platform that is not well known as other Asian e-commerce marketplace uh, such as Lazada and Shopee. In contrast, it's widely popular in Singapore where it's also headquartered and also uh, known uh, as top e-commerce sites in the Philippines. The product Categories available on Carousel includes cars and property, fashion, home and living, electronics, and mobiles. As mobile platform, Carousel has expanded to include an online shopping site. Interestingly, the Carousel platform makes it simple for anybody, including businesses and individuals, to take image of their product and list them for sale, all while providing buyers with an option to communicate directly with the seller. Aside from those five, we also have Globe Online Shopping. So Globe Corporation is one of the country's top corporations. Launch the online shopping website shop.globe.com.ph in an effort to break into the country's burgeoning e-commerce market. Online shopping at Globe is targetedly mostly at individuals looking for electrical equipment, various gadgets, and apparel with the ability for clients to choose from a variety of postpaid network plans as well. Then, we also have the Galleon.ph. Galleon.ph is an online shopping website that specializes in products that are not uh, readily available in the Philippines. In addition to offering a diverse range of categories, Galeon.ph also gives Filipinos quick online access to products imported from the United States and China, with products delivered directly to their doorstep. Galeon has been finding its niche in the Philippines e-commerce market with traffic of uh, 170.77 visitors every month and rapidly become the top e-commerce sites in the Philippines. Then, we also have the Zalora Philippines. Zalora, one of Rocket Internet's most successful creations, has grown to become the largest e-commerce website in Southeast Asia that is solely dedicated 
to fashion shopping. Zalora has been a stable player in the list of e-commerce sites in the Philippines since 2012 with estimated monthly traffic of 1,250,000. Due to the website's popularity, it has spread its wings to Singapore, Indonesia, Malaysia, Brunei, Thailand, Vietnam, Hong Kong, and Taiwan. Next, we have the FB Marketplace which is very popular nowadays. With over 72 million members, as of April 2020, the Philippines is still one of the top countries in terms of numbers of citizens that use Facebook. As a result, FB Marketplace provides a powerful platform for Filipino to buy and sell a wide range of items and services. It is completely free to use, and there are no fees associated with posting your merchandise. Because of its large user base and ease of use, it has become a go-to platform for millions of Filipinos looking to sell to buy things. Next, we have the Beauty MNL or the Beauty Manila. According to a recent report, the online cosmetic businesses will generate $675 billion in revenue by 2020, which may explain why the Philippines' e-commerce marketplace includes a beauty or wellness-related website ranked uh, also the top e-commerce sites in the Philippines. With that then, those are the top e-commerce sites in the Philippines that we are all know. So now, let us discuss the 10 e-commerce trends that you need to know in 2021. So why e-commerce trends are so important? The e-commerce world is becoming increasingly competitive. To stay ahead of the competition, e-commerce trends need to be constantly monitored. No matter how mature your e-commerce e store is right now, if you, do, if you don't keep up with the e-commerce trends, you will risk falling this, this drastically behind. You need to keep looking ahead to ensure future success. As we move to the 2021 trends, you need to know these trends in order to take advantage of them. That's why it's so important that e-commerce trends are analyzed and adopted in a timely manner. By doing this, you can drive your e-commerce brand forward and stay ahead of your competition are you wondering what the future of e-commerce looks like do you want to look what into the into the what trends will shape the success of your online store here are the top 10 e-commerce trends for 2021 that that you need to look out for first Online sales growth is unstoppable. E-commerce sales have been growing constantly and for good reason. Online shopping is one of the most popular online activities. Global e-commerce sales are projected to increase 26.7% year over year to $4.891 uh, $4.891 trillion in 2021. This is according to eMarketer 2021. That's not all. Online sales are expected to continue growing and hit $6.3 trillion, nearly twice the 2020-19 total e-commerce data. Second, the future of e-commerce after the COVID-19. Undeniably, one of the biggest impact, if not the biggest, on e-commerce trends in 2020 will be the COVID-19. With governments worldwide shutting stores and implementing lockdowns to restrict social movement for months on end in a bid to combat the coronavirus, more and more people are resorting to online shopping to purchase items. And experts predict that the impact of the coronavirus will not just be a short-term boost to e-commerce but one that's here to stay, even after the COVID-19. This is because people will get comfortable with the comfort and convenience it offers and the benefits of contactless payments, both of which are like to cause a permanent behavioral shift towards digital purchases. Aside from that, we have the mobile shopping is growing. The growth of mobile commerce 
has been particularly noteworthy. In 2020, total sales made by phone devices came in at $2.66 trillion. Um, the, those figures can be ignored. Improving the e-commerce experience for mobile customers can be a huge opportunity for business to tap into. E-commerce growth has been driven in part by the increase in usage of mobile devices. That's because consumers aren't just checking out online. They're also using their mobile phones to browse and research before making their mind up about their purchases. As the trust on online shopping increases, consumers start to feel more comfortable shopping on mobile devices even than even before. This is especially so with millennials and Gen Z consumers who have grown up surrounded by computers and the internet. These generations are also more likely to be shopping online using their mobile devices in comparison to the older generation. The number four, young con consumers to change the business landscape. The coronavirus pandemic's effects on economy cannot be denied. More than half or 54% of consumers increased their spending online after the coronavirus hit. But even though this shift to continue shopping is seen across consumers of all ages, it's mostly the younger generation that's responsible for this e-commerce trend. Survey results shows that 2 out of 3 or the 67% young consumers ages 18 to 34 are spending more money purchasing items online now than before the pandemic. This is according to the Shopify of 2020. Number 5. Evolving Role on Social Media in E-Commerce The number of social shoppers is also rapidly increasing. With the introduction of the buy button on Facebook and Instagram checkout, social media is playing a significant role in the world of e-commerce. Social media has changed the way we live our daily lives, including the way we buy things. This is great opportunity for brands to start thinking about how to improve their position on social media, which is a great platform for brands to get discovered. With consumers spending more time on different types of social media, e-commerce businesses can get help from Instagram influencers to increase their chance of getting discovered by their target audience. Additionally, with platforms like Shopify, businesses can easily link their online stores with social media sites so that people can buy from them directly through social media instagram and facebook for example are constantly updating their pictures to me to meet the comfort needs of online buyers and who can forget tiktok the latest and rising ray within the world of social media that has not only made its way into the hearts of teens but also around hollywood the video sharing app has been working up on incorporating e-commerce elements in its latest efforts, including test a new feature that will allow users to include shoppable links for their profile or videos. This means that users who click on link will be taken to the URL within the TikTok itself without having to leave the app access on the site. Then we also have the environmental topics influence buyers. Green consumerism is one on the rise and brand needs to take action. Nearly 4 in 10 digital consumers say that poor environmental records impact their purchasing decision. This is according to the Global Web Index of 2020. Online businesses need to step in and make sure that their practices are environmentally friendly. This includes practices of sourcing products from fair trade organizations to help create a greener e-commerce environment. Millennials are paving the way forward to greener consumerism habits. Then next, the desire to shop with independent businesses. Not only are more and more consumers shopping online, but their shopping habits and brand preferences have also evolved. 
The focus on sustainability and environmental practices aside, a growing number of consumers are also becoming more open towards purchasing from independent businesses. According to Shopify of 2020, more than half or 57% say they're willing to shop with new brands for the first time. Then, number 8, we also have augmented reality transform how we shop. By 2022, over 120,000 stores will be using augmented reality or AR technologies offering a much reaching buying experience. Uh, this is according to Freenware 2018. AR uptake in the sector will be driven by the retail work force and online shoppers one of the main concerns that people have when shopping online uh, is the inability to see the product firsthand ar technology help bridge this gap and enable online shoppers to better visualize the product that they are interested in aside from that we have the personalization is the future more than 50 percent of shoppers says that a personalized online experience is important. This is according to Bazaar Voice of 2018. Adding to that, 70% of marketers believe personalization has a strong or extreme impact on advancing consumer or customer relationship, according to the Ever Gauge of 2018. Then last on the trends of e-commerce is the visual commerce is on the rise one of the many difficulties of running an e-commerce store is having to sell your product to consumers who have no chance of physical interaction with your product that's where visual commerce comes into play in short visual commerce is the next generation of normal static visuals it takes marketing to a whole other level as instead of simply using product photos to market your businesses Visual commerce takes it one step further by incorporating other types of visuals such as consumer-generated media, interactive content, engaging videos, and as previously mentioned, augmented reality. With the advancement in technology and changes in, in consumer behavior, you need to keep an eye out of these e-commerce trends in 2021, whichever e-commerce trends you decide to adopt. To do with it, aim to improve or improving the shopping experience to your customers and building a long-lasting relationship with them. Take your e-commerce evolution to the next level by evolving it side by side and taking advantage of these e-commerce trends. Now, now let's move forward on the challenges uh, of getting online. First, we have the... Uh, customer exploding expectation retailers worldwide are continually or continuously trying to build their reputation and a sharp brand image with the promise of great experience it is challenging to match customer expectation in an era where experience matters the most the tech giant like amazon take the online buying process to the uh, proverbial next level with anticipatory shipping methods so for this, to meet customer expectation for a good user experience, brands should start analyzing their e-commerce trends and focus on using the data to develop personalized customer experience. The customer must feel acknowledged and valued right from the moment they start using your service. Send them notification alert or product updates to facilitate the customer's connection. Then, we also have the agility challenge. We can define agility as the capacity of a business to introduce advancements, develop and deploy digital content, and respond to seasonal changes rapidly. Agility drives immediate digital fulfillment, and it is identified as one of the most critical initiatives in an e-commerce businesses. Agile transformation is, an, is the heart of digital business, and scaling is essential for making it successful.
So, being agile in the e-commerce approach help businesses deliver an enhanced shopping experience. To be a- to be agile, e-commerce business must assimilate quick changes across all platforms and create personalized collection that inspire consumers. They should keep putting out fresh content. The next uh, the challenges is being consistent. Consistency is an essential element when curating a successful omni-channel strategy. Customers use numerous platforms to search for items before deciding, requiring businesses to provide smooth buying touch points through every product or service. However, analyzing and understanding customer interaction across all touch points are using them to build a consistent and smooth consumer experience is one of the significant challenge for retailer. For this, brand can optimize their online platforms to deliver completely consistency between search options, various shopping pages, and shipping details. Next, we have the data security. Building strong e-commerce security is critical to your company's success. The increased use of e-commerce raises security concerns and this is one of the most pressing e-commerce issues. Hackers and fraudsters threaten to attack the whole server, steal confidential data, and introduce viruses. So for this, we need to maintain the brand's reputation and attract repeat customers. Every business operating in the digital space must prioritize security. Then, of course, the technology partnerships. Technological partnerships are becoming popular in the e-commerce domain. Much, much is at stake when business join hands with a company to bring their idea to life. The end product can succeed by focusing on the tech or processes and giving precedence to trust, the transparency, and communication between the partners. With this... Uh, with platforms such as Clutch that offer detailed client reviews of software development companies across the globe, it is relatively simpler to find the right outsourcing partner for an e-commerce business. Business leaders should thoroughly research the company's past work and expertise to, der- to, to, to determine if they are excellent collaborative fit. Also discussing project expectations, understanding company is aligned uh, to offer modern day solutions such as agility and digital transformation help make the right choice then for number six we have the customer retention even some prominent players in the e-commerce segment struggle to retain their customers base customer centric E-commerce challenges can be attributed to many factors such as evolving expectation of the consumer, similar options, the failure to create a pleasant shopping experience, and sometimes the offer and discounts being more sustainable to the other platforms. So with this, building customer relationship takes both time and effort, and businesses owe to engage their consumer in a different ways besides transactional correspondence to make them feel valued. While endeavoring to offer a better experience on the website, brands need to nurture their consumer with a personalized communication strategy. Aside from the customer retention, other challenges is the relevant leads. While attracting good traffic might be achievable through promotion and other marketing efforts, getting the relevant leads remain a challenge for e-commerce businesses. It is no wonder that the average e-commerce conver- conversion rate are often minimal. It has been reported that only 2.57 of e-commerce website visits has been converted into purchase in the United States. So with that the solution an efficient search engine optimization or the seo strategy can improve the pages rank and reach the potential customers actively searching for specific products also for marketers it has to be continuous process of follow-ups email marketing can be effective use here through automated campaigns and personalized emails to connect with those visitors who may be potential leads over time. 
Next to that, we have the cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is a critical e-commerce because cyber attacks can result uh, in revenue, data, and overall business viability losses. When it comes to e-commerce, you must protect your data and your customers. So for this, uh, the solution we have a cybersecurity policy. A cybersecurity policy establishes ground rules for everyone in your organization to follow, stating uh, that critical activities must not slip through the cracks. Second, if you're looking for a new e-commerce platform, look into the various security features and options. Multi-factor authentication, customer data encryption, real-time threat alerts, and compliance features are examples of such elements. Next, we have the omni-channel experience. Omni-channel e-commerce provides your customer with a uni unified e-commerce experience regardless of digital device or platform. This is critical because research shows that 70% of the online shoppers use multiple channels when shopping online. So one of the primary advantages of providing an omni-channel experience is delivering consistent messaging about your brand to your customer. So for the solution, when a company decides to implement an, an omni-channel strategy, the chances are, the, are that the existing technology can could be inadequate to support an omni-channel operation. So, it is critical to collaborate with the right partners. Having best logistics, shipping, and e-commerce partners is essential to the success of your omni-channel strategy. Then last, we have the voice search. Voice enable search has seen massive traction in the past few years. With the, ri with the rise of the product in the online markets, experts predict a further surge in demand for voice-driven user experience. This is not surprising, considering that the most voice search queries happen when people are walking or driving somewhere, or perhaps more importantly, when they discover new places or businesses. So for this, when it comes to search engine results, the semantic strategy considers the context of the user's search rather than just written words. Search engine has or have advanced significantly. They attempt to comprehend user intent and behavior to make the dialogue between search engine and the user more human, more real. They accomplish this by programming their algorithms to use concepts, matches, and synonyms, among other things. So these are the challenges and the solutions we encounter or we should we can encounter on our online platforms or the e-commerce. So I hope you learned something and then aside from this, here are the uh, references for this uh, report you can also check this and you can read more or you can also watch um, YouTube and other videos that can help your business grow online so that's all for my report thank you so much and have a great day